Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, uh, Halal family. Welcome to the channel. Halal family is the best family. Going forward, I'll be referring to you guys as my Halal family. So let me know what you guys uh, think. Is in today's video, we'll be reacting to first time trying Patan Tampuyak. It's basically um, a vlogger that's trying Malaysian food for uh, the first time. This video was suggested by Ahmed Zambiri. Thank you very much for taking the time to send me your recommendation and suggestion. For those of you who are new and who happen to come across this channel and this video for the first time, I upload videos every day. So if you guys like the content as well as the channel and want to be part of this journey, then please consider subscribing to the channel and turning notification on so you're notified when a new video is uploaded. Stay tuned guys. We'll be right back. Welcome back guys, we're gonna get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please make sure you stay until the end. With that said, we'll get started with our first video of the day. Hi everybody, Ivana is doing a cooking lesson today. Cooking SM Rome as well as Black Sambo. Because we Black tried Sambo. SM Rome the other day along with Patin Ikan Tempoyak. Okay guys, so we are in Pahang and many of you have recommended us to try patin tempoyak in Pahang because it's the famous food from Pahang. So I think this little eatery uh -huh. has patin tempoyak on their menu, so we're gonna try it. Let's go. It doesn't smell good. It smells like uh, nothing. I don't know. I'm interested in this. So I'm gonna take one big piece of fish, put it here. Okay, I'm gonna grab a bunch of mm. sauce, I suppose. It's so just kind of like a fish curry and, oh yeah, and veggies and fish right? and sauce. Right? The one we had was kind of thick. So they make what is this, this? Pumpkin? Uh, yeah. Pumpkin so is I good? They make tempoya with turmeric and make it into some kind of soup for the patin. I'm not afraid. I'm sure the tempoyak and rice will be very good. Mm. Uh, how, do I eat the, how do I eat the meat? Just like that? Yeah. Let's be smart, let's be smart. Let's start with rice and tempoyak. Very good. A little bit spicy. Very good. So we'll get more sauce nice. with the whole rice and sauce. I love white rice. Very good, Ivana. So you like the sauce? Very good. You like the sauce? <laughs> um, the fish part, we're going to see. Fingers crossed. Don't be shy on the sauce. Because it's spicy <laughs> and it's durian and it's really nice. So this is uh, catfish with rice and tempoyak. Catfish. You guys know I'm just I think they're beginning playing my Quran fish in the eating background. career. I'm a uh, you know first year employed at the fish eating firm here. Uh, <laughs> How's the fish? Very good. Not fishy. Not fishy at all. Really wow. nice. If you told me it was chicken, I might think it was chicken. It's a little bit different in texture, but it doesn't taste fish at all. It's your first patin fish. First patin. Patin is uh, fresh water. Very fresh good. Water. You gotta watch for bones, so you have to be, have some skill to not have bones going down. Nice. But uh, mm, it has bones. Mm. Mm. Looks good. Okay. So you like tempoyak? Yeah? I like tempoyak. We tried it in Tranganu for the first time. Right. And it was amazing. Okay. This part of the fish is very fatty. Okay, maybe it's a good thing. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. The fish itself is very soft. It's like melt in your mouth kind of fish. Right. It's like buttery. Yep. Like buttery. It's so soft. Do they cook the fish in the tempoyak? I think I so. guess when it's Maybe true. Mm -hmm. yeah, cooked in a soup, mm -hmm. probably Quite gets good. soft. So it's so Ivana? soft. Five stars or what do you say? And I kind of like the uh, fat on the fish. Mm. It's kind of nice. Fish oil. People pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's really nice. nice. And the yeah, tempoyak sure. itself. So it's good for a brain. Mm. Omega I don't six really and omega three. It's durian though. It's not a strong durian flavor. Yeah, it's not strong, but it's good. But I can. But it's there. But I can smell it. Yeah. Yeah. It has durian. Yeah. Good. Interesting. I like it. Five stars. Wow. Mm. So, what do you think, Steve? <laughs> Five stars. Good question. Um, my trouble is the bones. Like, I'm having trouble with the bones. 
put it this way, if there was tempoyak and rice and chicken, mm. that would be five stars. The fish, <laughs> that would be ama amazing. The fish is, the flavor is good, but I'm struggling with uh, bones. There's probably a better way to eat it where I wouldn't get bones in my mouth all the time. I'm still new. But uh, overall, it's still quite good. I, mean, I agree. I like fish that doesn't have bone because then you're continuously like middle, trying to pick it's not really the bones and it's just too yeah, much work. Learning. I don't even know what a fish is. <laughs> there you go. I, I mean, I'm so... The bones. Wait a second. That's it. And this is all meat. Mm. Yeah. I was going one by one. <laughs> you have to be pro. <laughs> okay. So once I get the technique down, I think it'll probably be five stars. But right now, I'm still struggling. Okay. I'm still new, a new guy. New fish eater. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Wow. This is the why drinks look good, locals, guys. This is especially cool called drinks because it's super hot awesome. here today. Awesome. Oh, oh, made wow. with rubber seed. Wow. It looks like a big piece of fish. We're thinking maybe tilapia. Some bone. So we're gonna go in for this one too. Okay. This is tilapia and rubber, mm -hmm. which, uh, <laughs> let's be honest, sounds bad. <laughs> tilapia and rubber. Rubber. I feel like it's gonna be like gum, like, chewing, <laughs> like rubber, you know? Obviously right. not. Uh, smell test. Yeah. Smells fine. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I got bone issues again. Okay, working on it. Um. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> oh, this one I really like, Imana. Better than the pate? Uh, maybe. Whoa, this one is really good. Really? Yes. Meh. You like this one better than the wow. pate in the poya? Maybe. It has a very funny flavor. Assam Rome. Assam Rome. Wow. Uh, really good. I need more rice though, but it's really good. I'm into this. Wow. What a surprise. This is why you travel with locals, guys. There you have it. Assam <laughs> means sour, right? Mm -hmm. And Rome is a city in Italy. Mm. Oh, that's what they after. <laughs> really nice, guys. This is a surprise. Uh, is it better than the other one? It might be better than Tepoyak. Really? Wow. How about the fish? You like this better? It's good. Okay. Fish is the same. The fish, I think I eat fish now. I think it's safe to say I eat fish now. Yeah. Both of these fish taste fine. But, um... I think in the plate they have sambo with cucumber. What a surprise. There you have I'm it. guessing. Wow. If I'm right, guys, yeah, try, try. let me know. Very nice. Comment section. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Also, the fish is very soft. She Good hasn't rice. eaten any of the rice. Can you describe the flavor? I have no vocabulary to describe the flavor. I feel like a child who's never eaten before. I cannot describe it at all. It's not turmeric. It's not vinegar. What is it? It's rubber. It's rubber flavor. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't have thought rubber would taste good. Rubber. <laughs> yeah. Fermented rubber seed. Fermented oh. rubber seed. Yeah. But I do prefer the patin mm. poya better mm. than Assam Rome. Because I love the patin fish, it's just so soft. The tilapia is a little bit more coarse, but they're both good. Right. Yeah, both good. Mm -hmm. Wow, mm. what a surprise. They're both five stars. Bing, bing. <laughs> <laughs> good job, Ivana. Like it, five stars. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's so fun. So we were pretty impressed with Patin Ikan Tempoyak, as well as really impressed with eating rubber. So we ended up going to a rubber plantation to learn more. Now, unfortunately, at the rubber plantation, we couldn't find any seeds on the ground. We could only find them in the trees. On the ground, we could just find the casings of the seed. I guess wild boars find the seeds very delicious and they beat us to the punch. So without the rubber mm. seeds, we were kind of at a loss. But lucky for me, I was traveling with two locals. Uh. Thank you, Mio and Ja. And they said, why don't we show you how to tap rubber trees in the meantime? So to be clear, the rubber coming out of the tree is not what's cooked in the dish, but it's still very interesting. Mm. Okay, our special rubber tapping tool. You can see it's like this, very sharp on the bottom, obviously. It's gonna slice through the wood, slice through the bark. Wow. So there you have it. First step will be to uh, clean oh. the old rubber off. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, nice even cut. Oops, he's all the way down. Um, they cut it so basically the liquid really? that comes from the tree they turn into rubber. 
and so we have uh, maple trees here in Canada. We do they do similar thing, and it actually and turns into like a syrup, which is sweet. Right they call it maple syrup. Oh, look at that white. Stay on track. Beautiful. There you have it. Drip, drip, drip at the rubber farm. And now some trees will flow for maybe hours and hours and fill up half the bucket. Some will stop in an hour, depending on the tree. If this was full, about two ringgits, 30 cents per bucket. So you need many, many trees to be profitable. And I guess you would do this all morning. Just slice them open and let them drip. Wow. There you have it. Awesome. Rubber tapping. <laughs> and now to conclude our Assam Rome <laughs> and Patin Interesting. Gan Tempoyak and Black Sambal Food of Pahong video. Ivana will be cooking. Chef Ivana in action. Are you prepared, Ivana? So, first on the menu, we will make Black Sambal. Mm. And this is something we have not tried yet. So, we will cook it, make it. And then we'll try it after. Interesting. Black <laughs> Look at the ingredients. Blimby. So you boil this for one day wow. and it turns into this Whoa. brown little fruit, kind of like raisins. Wow, one day. <laughs> and then Steve's favorite, anchovies, chili, and onion. Wow. onion or shallot. And so Ivana got to work, smashed Shouts. those ingredients. I tried to convince her to only put a little bit of econ balise in, but she went ahead with the proper recipe, which also includes turmeric, salt, and sugar. Whoa! How are so, you not sweating, Ivana? You're a pro. <laughs> when I did it, I was oh, like... All food. Asian food is like <laughs> so, so flavorful. we will fry this a little bit with the oil, and then it's ready to eat with rice. It actually smells good already. Oh, really? Yeah, you can smell it. Mm. A little bit you can oh, believe smell though. You tried the Balimbi fruit, right? Yeah, Balimbi. Yeah, the fresh fruit. Balimbi bulo. Yeah. They're telling me it's very good flavor. I think they're being tricky. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. It's really sour. It's nice though. It's crunchy. It's actually good. You like it? I like sour. Sour. <laughs> it's really sour. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys ever tried to eat something sour but still keep a straight face like you take a lemon like that or lemon juice and just yeah. have to keep it's a straight face actually, it's yeah. super hard mm -hmm. it actually looks good although i'm afraid of the ikan <laughs> yeah. sambal's coming together Don't be afraid this one might change your mind You're right. did i understand correctly <laughs> mm, oh I can God. smell it. Cooking smells chilies. delicious. Cooking chilies. You have to cook for one hour. Yeah. So. You have to fry it for one hour. Yes. One hour. <coughs> so. Oh wow! One, one hour. hour later. Wow, it's on a water change. Mm -hmm. It's officially. It's all on slow heat. Keep black mixing. Sambal. Black sambal. Here you go, the black sambal. It's now ready. Mmm. Wow. And you have that with rice. Black sambal. So much flavor, chili, I'm onion. Worried. It looks. But then the sour sorry, fruit. Brain. It looks. And also they put the dried fish and chilies. Mm. Right? It's not. This is what's supposed to look. No, it looks like this. Black sambal. Black sambal. There I'm you excited. go. I'm excited. I'm excited for that. Yeah, there you have it. We'll try it in a bit. Awesome. Next on the menu, Asam Rom. So Steve actually went shopping for all these beautiful ingredients. local farm shopping for some of these veggies and this is actually the rubber seed guys huh, so this is the rubber seed just picking it all fresh that's uh producing its own oil and kind of wet this is rubber seed that's been dried out in the sun and this is it after it's been soaked in water and now it's ready to cook kind of try incredible. have you ever seen rubber seed this before Ivan? no interesting right wow. so this is the one that uh grind it up and it lasts for a long time because it makes its own oil it produces oil and well, i never knew that you can oil. eat rubber but oh, is that right? it's like oh, the food from the rubber like tree it's <laughs> not good what does it smell like it's really strong like it smells like like a like a like a gym locker you know like sweaty socks not that good but there you go and then this one's been dried out 
still not ready to cook. <laughs> and then this has been soaked in hot water. That's the one we're gonna cook. Very with. exciting. Okay. There you have it, guys. Rubber is useful and delicious. Who knew? Who knew? There are some things that don't smell good, but taste really good. Veggies. Some ferns, I used to eat a lot of Vietnamese meat, food and that fish and sauce that they used to bring with the rice and the smell of it was super strong but then when you used to put it on top of the rice I'm hungry, delicious okay, let's okay. Get cooking. action part two. First thing first we add some water you know what I think it smells like <laughs> there's the fish baby food or something baby food like let me try oatmeal <laughs> no mm. maybe not okay so <laughs> interesting good try we're gonna add so you're gonna add uh, half of this rubber seed dried and then soaked rubber soaked seed in water before what in just a rubber just seed dried and then soaked mm. wow well, half it's starting to look a little bit like fish food <laughs> and then we'll put some turmeric and salt <laughs> turmeric mm -hmm. salt and then Oh wow, like it's a lot of chilies. Sweet different type of, uh, Malaysian and, Indi and really? Indonesian also eat no. a lot of spicy Rico. food. Oh, it's eggplant! Yeah, different Look at types. That. What do I know? Mm. Almost, nothing. <laughs> Almost nothing. And something new I've never seen before. Kassing leaves. Kassing leaves. But Which tear it up. smells really good. When I was harvesting, they showed me how it smells. It smells oh, you like the smell. aromatic, yes. You smell already, no? Never come across it before. Smell, smell. So I don't know what it is, what it tastes like. It's strong, right? Very strong. And some ferns. So cool, look at that. Mm. Harvested by the one and only. It looks healthy. Yeah, it is. It looks really healthy. It's vegetables and greens mm. and fish. Oh, and it's no oil. One. Oh yeah, good point. No oil. No oil. So must be really healthy. There you have it. I'm wondering if rubber oh, seed yeah. has any some kind of... Well, it comes from the rubber seed. Vitamins or nutrition or is good it good question. for you? Good mm -hmm. question. No idea. There you have it though. There you go. There you go. You can see the fish. Whoa. <laughs> Something that needs to be researched, guys. <laughs> is rubber seed healthy? Veggies and oolong. It already looks mm, good. Asam rum. Asam rum. Okay, so we're gonna leave this to a boil for 30 minutes. Asam rum. Just leave it. Yeah, until it's cooked. Wow, yeah. good job. So easy, Ivana. Yeah. The work is done. You just put it in the pot and then uh, <laughs> set yeah, it and forget it. it. <laughs> awesome. Let's wait. Okay, so once the sweet potato is cooked, that's a sign that the dish is ready. There you go. Looks so different now. Wow, you nailed it, Ivana. Looks good, Ivana. Wow. I think you nailed it. I think so. I think you nailed it. And? Although, to be honest, you had some help with uh, the people <laughs> oh, yeah. here. There was, some, there was some coaching involved. Yes, we had a teacher who is the host of our guest house that we're staying at. <laughs> But more on the guest house later on a different video. Yep, stay tuned mm -hmm. for that. Black sambal. All right, am I the first one to go? Yeah. There's yeah. the black sambal. Uh, should I have first black sambal or uh, rubber seed? Let's go black sambal first. Black sambal. Which has I'm going to try to make sambal one of these days. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Anchovies. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Spicy. <laughs> mm. oh. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't but like the fish. It's good, but it's really anchovy. Mm -hmm. I want to like it. Hold on. This is my goal. If I just keep eating it, I'll like it. Nope. Woo! <laughs> okay, try it. <laughs> I think you did a good job, Mama. I think you did well. <laughs> Look at his face. <sighs> But, <laughs> but I just can't do it with Poor working guy. Towards, working towards the Okay. <laughs> it's a long term goal. How about oh my God. The spice level is nice oh and it tastes good, God. but it's just. I feel bad for the poor guy. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> Tried my best, everybody. Uh, let's have a little bit of rubber seed and. I'm going to keep trying it until I like it. It didn't work. No, <laughs> just two bites. Very good. 
Really? Yeah, I like the rubber seed dish. Really? She hasn't had in a restaurant. It's really good. Let me try with fish. Wow. It's really that nice. should be it's good because it's sauce. Flavor. Hard to explain almost. Fish. It sounds bad, right? Rubber seed? It's like, it sounds bad. But it's quite good. Mm-hmm. Very good. Nice. Try it, You're going to like it. Very good. Mm. Five stars. Because we don't know rubber. We just think of rubber like tires and things like that, right? We don't know about the tree, so a lot of people don't think about it, right? Let's try the We hear rubber and like, oh, how could you eat rubber? But it comes out of a tree, so it's kind of like a fruit, right? What's itam? means black. Yeah. Okay, got it. Black sambal. Wow. Strong tambilis. Strong anchovy flavor. Mm. Mm. But it's good flavor, though. Mm-hmm. Quite spicy. <laughs> Spicy and sour because he used that blimbing fruit that makes it a little bit sour. Mm. Spicy and uh, it's good. It's good. Um, between this and tempoya, should be interesting. Which one would you Because sour, yeah, spicy, question. fishy. I would say this is better than voodoo. Really? Voodoo is one of the worst I've had. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I would like still prefer normal sambal. You can just eat this by itself with rice. Oh, here's a good fact. You don't need anything else. Yes, you're right about that. This, I would say, black sambal is better than sambal blachan for me. Mm, really? It's less, it's less can I make some? than sambal blachan. Mm. Yes. Although you can see the body of the ikan wheel. Yeah. <laughs> if I was really patient, I would pick through it and avoid them. Okay, try this, Ivana. Try the rubber sheet with patin. This is a pahang specialty. Ooh. Look at mm, that. fish this. time. Should I eat the skin? Yeah. Don't be shy, Ivana. Mm. Looks good. Lots of colors from the turmeric, and you can see the chili there, right? It's unusual as well. Mm -hmm. It's quite nice, though. Mm -hmm. I'm into it. I think you're just gonna get used mm. to that. Rubber sheet flavor. Yeah. Kind of like, it's kind of weird, but it's good. Hmm. Which do you prefer, black sambal or rubber seed? Black sambal. Wow, for me, rubber <laughs> seed. For me, SM rum. I have to get used to that rubber seed flavor. Mm. It's kind of unusual. Fair it's enough. Something that I've never tried before. Right. Something new. It's a Pahang specialty. Mm hmm, Pahang specialty. Must try in Tamanagara. Only in Pahang. There mm. you have it. Okay, so. We tried the patent tempoyak, we tried the rubber seed asam rong, and also the black sambal. So I think I'm gonna give patent tempoyak five stars, and sambal asam rong hitam. four stars, and the black sambal five four stars. stars. Yeah, my favorite is still the four stars. Mm -hmm. But they're all good. So oh, try it stars. when you come to Pahang. All right, there you have it, guys. Special shout out to Greenland Chalet or Durian Chalet. Uh, more info on them. I just wish there was Malaysian video. restaurants closest. Amazing place, amazing food. Mm -hmm. There you have it. See you guys in the next video. Later. Good job, uh, Jet Lag Warrior. Shout out to uh, them for making this uh, vlog and trying these uh, delicious food. We used to have a. Um, Malaysian restaurant um, they were really really small and they had some of these dishes I remember there was like a soup and fish they had the rice and then they also had some dessert but I, that was like years ago so I don't recall like what the name of the, the dish was but I remember like it was pretty flavorful and we used to go with family there and uh, you know enjoy the food uh, but unfortunately they, they closed down so right now we don't have any Indonesian or Malaysian restaurants um, around the, the area but I'm going to try to inshallah research a bit more to see if I can find one hidden somewhere and if, if I could find one inshallah we'll, we'll try to go there try the food and uh, make a video as well so overall this was was interesting it actually made me want to make some sambal so hopefully next over the next couple of days i'm going to make some rice as well as some sambal and uh, i'll put it out the, in a video and, and uh, try it out and, and see how, how it is because the flavors of the sambal look really delicious you got the chili you got the shallots the onion and then as well as maybe if i can't find the fruit i'll see if i can make some uh, easier ones a little bit simpler and then try it out with the rice so thank you thank you guys uh, for suggesting this uh, it was really really cool i hope you guys enjoyed it too if you did please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you like me to react to another video please put in the comment section below as always thank
thank you very much uh, Halal family for all your love and support I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family and inshallah I'll see you guys in the next video take care and wassalam